presented by Top Coat. Diesel engines. Without them, this country would stop. Think of all the fleets out there, but there is an occasional problem to overcome. And that's why Choate Engineering Performance is in the house. Kaz, you guys solve problems for a living. What are some of those common issues you guys figure out? Sure. Well, we're kind of known for the 6.4 Power Stroke platform. We do Cummins, Duramax, and Power Stroke. And what we've got here is kind of what we call smart parts. So not only do they look good, but they actually fix problems. Uh, what we've got here is a billet valve cover that we've machined in-house. Everything that we do, 100% USA Made America, it's, it's built in-house. So we see the 6.4 liter rocker arm failure. It winds up taking out the whole engine because it causes the camshaft to fail through lifter failure. The reason why is because the 6 liter engine, the predecessor to this, had Huey injection system and that would spray over the rockers. But because it was a transition engine, they changed. We have no oil up there. So what we did was we took and we kind of ripped a page out of the playbook for the 6.7. And we provided an oil railing system that's fed from this fitting right here that goes to the turbocharger. Maintains proper oil into the rockers and that fixes that. I love the term smart parts because you've improved it. It looks better, but also it works better. But you're not just limited to the parts. You made some smart tools also. Absolutely. So one thing that uh, I'm really excited about is this new product that we have and it's uh, what we call our power stroke socket. And one thing that I absolutely hate is to go out to the truck with the wrong tool. I want to be there, get it done. So this tool doesn't matter if you have a 7.3, a 6.7, 6.064. These notches here that are machined fit the 7.3. The inside fits the oil filter for the 6.0 and 6.4. And if we rotate this around, you can see on the inside it's machined out for the 6.0 fuel filter. On the outside it's machined out for the 6.7 fuel filter. But hey, this is performance TV. You guys know how to make power as well. Tell me about the cylinder heads in this camshaft. So we want reliable power. Over here, this is a set of six liter heads that they're aluminum. Now from the factory, they came cast iron. There's about a 66 pound difference. That's a lot of performance just in the weight. But not only did we stop there, the cast irons were prone to cracking. The aluminum has better heat dissipation. It is lighter, but we CNC port our cylinder heads and that again is done all in house. So you're looking at about a factory CFM of 160, whereas that's about 252 CFM. Better flow in the camshaft, allowing more fuel air mixture in there, more power. Absolutely, again, this is another one of those smart parts where it does work. It does have a lot more addition in horsepower, but also it stabilizes the geometry of the valve train. And it has a low shock technology, and what that is, is it's kind of like what we refer to as a crack and whack cam. So it loads the valve train and then without generating a lot of harmonics, it maintains a good stability. So to do all of this though, you must have quite the machine shop. That's one thing that we've invested a tremendous amount of money and time into. Not only do we do the manufacturing in-house, but we've actually got 3D scanning capability if a person was to send me a part and said, you know, I want it to fit like this, but I want it to function differently. So that's a process and a service that we provide. So we're able to scan that part in with a 3D scanner and then reverse engineer it through the CAD design and then finally output it through CAM. And fix it right the first time. If you've got a diesel engine, one of the things about diesel is they'll go forever and not everybody can afford to upgrade their whole fleet every time and you're helping those people. Absolutely. The one thing that we've noticed a, a lot is the repair cost of, of diesel is much higher than that of gas burner. So you can't afford to be on the side of the road with a 40-foot flatbed broke down and the tow bill would be astronomical. So we need it to stay fixed the right the first time. Let's check out this engine. Not everything you fixed is in the top half of the engine. Short block issues. Tell us about them. Sure. Like anything else, uh, the biggest thing that you want to start with is a good foundation. And that's what we've done here. So ensuring proper concentricity of the main line of the center axis of the crankshaft. Uh, making sure that it's square to the bore is extremely important. So we've done that. And again, CNC machining, making sure that we hold the tight tolerances that we're trying to achieve. Blueprint boring. And as you see, these pistons are not something that you normally would see on a power stroke engine or a Cummins engine or anything like that. These are our G3 style pistons. A lot of common problems with diesel engines nowadays is piston cracking because you have higher injection pressures and because of that, the pistons tend to crack. So what we've done is we've uh, machined the bowls so that they, it's a re-entrant style bowl from the factory. We machine the bowls so that you don't have these high amount of heat load areas inside the piston. And uh, we uh, have smoothed all the areas off uh, so that there's no hot spots uh, that are generated there. As well as square decking the block because it's extremely important for head gasket sealing to have a proper uh, smooth surface and flat surface so that it can seal properly. And as well, we also have a billet flex plate. We've seen failures with the flex plates actually 
failing through the hub area, and uh, we've addressed that as well. I like what you're doing. If you've got a fleet and you want to stay on the road, hit their website. They've got a 